Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. We're very festive today. I hope you're feeling my festive energies transferring through your screen. Um, yeah, I'm feeling super festive. Like, I literally got so much like Christmas decoration, guys. Um, but anyways, today we're gonna be trying out a bunch of Huda Beauty products, uh, mainly, um, mainly her recent releases, like her Luminous Pressed Powder by Glowish, the glowish blush, the highlighter that everyone's been talking about, and the new rose quartz uh, palette. I haven't done this in a while because we've just been all over the place, but we haven't done our post notification shout out in a while, so I'm gonna do that today. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Maliha, so thank you so much for subscribing, I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. So yeah, I'm gonna be testing all of those products now and show you how you, I got this look and just let you know what my thoughts are on each of the products and yeah it's just going to be a super chill video trying on makeup so make sure to grab a drink and let's jump into the video my face is bare i will fix my hair later like it's really hard to have curtain bangs because they literally come in front of my face like my eyes all the time so i'm always like bobby pinning them like it's cute and everything but it's very high maintenance i'm just going to moisturize my skin I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I've been loving this Hello Sunday, the everyday one, SPF 30. It's a face moisturizer. It's really, really hydrating and it doesn't leave a white cast on my skin. Um, my skin's super dry at the moment, so I really just wanna make sure that my skin's really hydrated before I put a powder on, since we're using the powder foundation. Well, it's not really powder foundation is it it's just pressed powder but i've seen people use it just as a foundation i need to work on my brows so i'm just going to use some of my nyx micro brow pencil this is what i use every day it's just so easy i use the shade black Ooh, the brows are snatched i've been obsessed like literally obsessed with the Anastasia Brow Freeze, like a brow styling wax, and it literally keeps your brows in place. I literally just put some on a spoolie. Oh, those are very, very nice. We're gonna be using the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette it has beautiful packaging as always and these are the colors I'm trying to think what kind of look i'm gonna do i want to do something a bit different i have used this on my instagram so make sure to follow me on instagram if you haven't already my back is literally killing i'm using my tart shape tape in medium tan sand but guys my back is killing me We've been building furniture on top of furniture and at this point I have furniture coming out my ass. We're coming towards the end of it and it's been so fun like it's been really fun like trying to like think what kind of furniture we want to go for like going out um, shopping and just testing out things we want. It's been really fun, but when the furniture comes and you have to build it all and you have like 50 boxes that come to your door and on top of that you have to recycle everything, it gets a lot. I'm going to take the shade Mantra and I'm going to take a little tube and just basically kind of use this as a stencil for my liner. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, literally, if you want like a quick liner, especially for hooded eyes, this is going to be it. I find that the older I get, I have more of a crease in my, like, the area where you would do a wing. So when I do wings, it's getting really, it's just getting harder and harder to have that. Before I would be able to do like a simple wing, but now like the, there's a flap, like there's my skin starting to fall, which is normal. Um, and it just gets harder. So I find that when I do like these kind of like smoky, these more smoky like wing liners, they're just so much easier. It's just so much easier to basically not have like a wonky liner. 
I'm going to take a little brush. This is the E28 brush by Colourpop. And I'm going to take the shade Happiness. And I'm just going to kind of press that on top of that deep shade that we just used. And create a little transition. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little gradient. Then I'm going to take the shade Moon Magic. And I'm just going to press that. I'm just going to press that all over the lid. Oh my god, that is so pretty. It's so pretty. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm genuinely curious, like, does makeup ever get boring to you guys? Like, do you still come to YouTube to watch makeup videos? Or like, is that still something you want to see from Hate Me? I feel like... I don't know, it, sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming with all the releases, but like, I, I'm just genuinely curious as to if you guys are like still interested in makeup videos and makeup review videos. Just like makeup looks in general, I don't know, let me know. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. By the way guys, something new that I've been doing for like the past, I would say six months is kind of like journaling writing down how i feel writing down what i'm grateful for because sometimes it's so easy to see the glass half empty rather than half full so when you write down like when you physically write down the things that you are grateful for it kind of it just it just brings this like good feeling i don't know how to explain it i don't know it's been really helping me if you haven't tried it i definitely recommend trying it out just give it a go, like buy, buy a notebook and just write five things that you're grateful for. It could be anything. A journal book it could be great for writing down your goals. Um, I think I'm not gonna wear, oh my God, like I literally love, I'm gonna wear this to Winter Wonderland. This look is so pretty, like it's so simple, but it's just like, it's wintry, like, oh my God, I love it. My overall thoughts on this palette is that you can create like really pretty everyday looks, like really subtle. And if you wanted to, you can create really like glam looks as well. There's some really wearable shades here. And if you want to like party or if you want to like glam it up, there's like sparkles in here. It's definitely more on the cooler side, I would say. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a palette I would use. I don't know. I also feel like these are becoming like collectible items. Like... I don't think I will ever, ever, ever throw these away. Like, even when they're off and I'm not using them, like, this is something I feel like I will always keep with me. I don't know, it just, it brings memories, it brings memory of, I don't know how YouTube, how long YouTube's gonna go for, you just never know. So it's like a memory of my journey online with you guys. And when you wear, like, the when you use the palette to, like, certain events, it, it brings memories. I remember wearing Mercury Retrograde to the Huda Beauty event where I met Huda. Um, I don't know it's just like you know when you wear design you buy a designer bag and you wear it somewhere that designer bag bring like reminds you gives you memory of a certain time you wore it like it's kind of like that but i know these cost a lot of money and if you're not into this then i don't know it really depends if you like the colors like i don't know which one's my favorite to be honest i think for sure the rose gold remastered is high up there oh if you want more like if you like more of a smoky eye like deeper colors the naughty nude palette is really nice too the new nude palette is is nice it has beautiful shimmers in there i wouldn't say it's my favorite favorite one but i feel like the most versatile one would be the rose gold remastered let's try the glowish by huda beauty luminous pressed powder i have the shades six and seven these are definitely like they have a bit of a shimmer to it this is six and this is seven i think i'm gonna go in seven because six is more yellow i feel like more neutral shades sometimes my foundations are too orange or too yellow and i've seen that like a blue really helps so i need to try that hack but um yeah i feel like neutral wears better on me I'm just gonna press it rather than swipe. I look a bit metallic to be honest. 
I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. My whole face is shiny. Let's put some concealer on. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Oh, I've got a sty like that's been bugging me for the past few days. It's so bloody painful. I don't even know what, I don't even want to know what a red eye feels like because I've never had that before. I'm going to use the Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in the shade 4. I usually, I swap between 3 and 4. Just going to use a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder. I actually miss my Huda Beauty one, but because I've moved, I've just been using what I have in my makeup bag. I also got the Glowish Blush Powder in the shade Caring Coral. This is what it looks like, but this is a bit more true to colour because with the light it's a bit brighter. It's just like the bronzer, it literally glides on like butter. The Rose Quartz uh, Glow Face Gloss has been going a bit viral, I would say. It definitely looks like, it, it looks peculiar for sure. This is just a close-up. I like to warm it up in my finger and kind of just tap it in. And it's not like your wet typical like cream highlighter. It actually sets pretty dry, not too dry, but like it dries down and it looks really nice. This is definitely a highlighter I recommend. Like it looks so nice on the skin. I wasn't liking the face powder at first. I definitely have a few thoughts on it, which I'll let you guys know in a bit, but it's not looking too bad now that I've got the rest of my makeup on. I'm gonna put a bit of my matte cork. And then for Lippy, I'm going to just use my uh, Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. Right, that's the finished look, guys. I hope you, I don't know, enjoyed this video. It's just a classic, like, trying out makeup video. Um, now, when it comes to the powder, like, I'm not going to say it's my favourite because I literally can see, like, every pore, every line on my face. And I think that's why I kind of, like, stay away with going with extremely glowy uh, base products because i rather go in with something that's more of like a demi matte or a luminous matte or something that's not like this luminous then i will go in with a highlight or like a luminous product on areas where i just want more highlight when it's all over my face like i literally I, 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 it's very like there's a lot of texture going on I feel like it's highlighting every texture on my face so i don't i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend to wear this all over like i've been seeing people online wear it i feel like if you if you're someone that sets your foundation this would be a really nice as a light dust over your regular foundation for a bit of a glow but like when you're packing it on just on its own i feel like it's too is too much like this is wearable but it's not my favorite it's so glowy almost to the point where it looks like 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 tin i wouldn't say it's my favorite basically this could be someone else's favorite kind of like product or application um but yeah it's not for me like it's proper highlighting my spot love the eyeshadow palette i love the uh, the blush the powder blush this is really nice and definitely something i would reach for another favorite of mine is the nymph kiss glow blush like if you're gonna get something from Huda Beauty, get this blush. Like, it's so beautiful. And yeah, and I really like the Rose Quartz highlighter. I definitely recommend this, it's gorgeous. I'm just not the biggest fan of the powder. I don't really think I would reach out for it personally. But if you're wondering, seven is like a good shade. I'm either six or seven, like I could wear both if I wanted to. So yeah, that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can join the family. Give this video a like because it really helps your girl out and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. We're very festive today. I hope you're feeling my festive energies transferring through your screen. Um, yeah, I'm feeling super festive, like, I literally got so much like Christmas decoration guys um, but anyways today we're gonna be trying out a bunch of Huda Beauty products uh, mainly um, mainly her recent releases like her luminous pressed powder by Glowish the, the Glowish blush 
the highlighter that everyone's been talking about and the new rose quartz uh, palette so yeah i'm going to be testing all of those products out and show you how you, i got this look and just let you know what my thoughts are on each of the products and yeah it's just going to be a super chill video trying on makeup so make sure to grab a drink and let's jump into the video i haven't done this in a while because we've just been all over the place but we haven't done our post notification shout out in a while so i'm going to do that today today's post notification shout out is going to go to maliha so thank you so much for subscribing i really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so <laughs> 